hi everyone and welcome back to my channel if you guys are new to my channel my name is Jackie and I upload a little bit of everything today we are doing something a little bit different also I just recently got a new camera which is what I am using to record right now and I'm looking at myself and it is very weird because it is totally different compared to my older camera we are trying a new camera out today and we're also gonna try out the rare beauty makeup by Selena Gomez and I am really excited because I've been hearing like a lot of good things about this I've never actually got my hands on the makeup until right now well until like two weeks ago but I've been waiting to try to record this but I was kind of like wanting to try it out like so I can like wear it like on the daily so I decided to just go ahead and open it and do the video right now if you guys are new to my channel make sure to subscribe and give it a big thumbs up and if you guys are not new to my channel welcome back let's get started with the video because I am really excited okay before we start let me take off my jewelry which are my rings because we are not trying to get those dirty because that is a big no-no and I have all this stuff here um, I did end up getting stuff that I know I'm gonna use and reuse I guess you can say for example I didn't get like the highlight or like the brow stuff I usually get my brows laminated so I did not order anything for my brows actually just kidding I did but they have not got here yet because I also ordered the I think it's the one size by Patrick Star if I'm not mistaken because I've seen like this the setting spray and everything and that still hasn't got in here it's supposed to get here this week though so our face is now prepped I put moisturizer I put my oil that I usually put on my face and I did end up getting this is the pore diffusing primer by rare beauty so we are gonna go ahead and go in with this one so with one pump you literally get a very good amount of product this is literally half because the other one I have right here so I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on my face I know some people prefer to use like a brush or something to put their primer me personally I've always used my fingers for like primer wise I have also seen some people use their hands like for foundation and I feel like that's very cool but I don't think I could personally do it because I feel like that would, would just be like a huge mess for me also the texture of the primer feels like you literally have like moisturizer on your face so it doesn't feel bad at all I really like it and then we're gonna go next with the rare beauty foundation this is in the shade 270N and I know they had a different like undertones for this one. I think one of them was like like a rose or like a peachy and then there is like an olive undertone which is exactly what I have. So I ended up going with the 270 for this one and it sounds like it has like a little like ball in there or something. Whoa. This is like super liquidy. Look at that, you know, it's like a liquid foundation but it feels really liquidy. But it is very different compared to like other foundations because usually my foundations are just like the pump ones. But here goes nothing. Uh, I don't know how much foundation you're supposed to put. But I'm more of a light to medium <laughs> coverage gal. So we're going to go in with just this much. And I'm going to use my beauty blender as you guys can tell. It is clearly already been used. I did not buy any of like the rare beauty stuff, which I might give that a shot. But for this time, we did not buy the actual products to do your makeup, just the makeup. So, okay, I think I literally picked like my actual color. Sometimes I feel like with certain like products, like it either leaves my face very like orangey, like it oxidizes and stuff like that. Who knows if this one will oxidize? I remember that I was really excited for like the Fenty Beauty one and that one left my face a little bit oxidized. So that was a no-go. The only bad thing with this one is that I was trying to go ahead and order it like a while back and it just never went through. It always fell through. Like it always flopped because every single time I would try to order it, foundation color that I wanted would always be out of stock. And in case you guys didn't know, Sephora did have like their 2020, 2023, duh, 2023, they did have like their sale going on and that's what I was literally waiting for. So once I seen that, I was just like, you know what, sign me up. You know how like when they're out of stock, you can go ahead and press the thing like so they can sign you up like to send you a notification for when it's going to be in stock. Well, that was me. 
that was literally me when I seen that they had their sale and honestly it feels very light on my skin and it looks really like buttery and if it, it feels really good on my skin and by the looks of it it looks very good it does not look bad at all I have a butcher baby here so please excuse it more next we're gonna go with the rare beauty concealer um this one is in the shade 270 so I got this one just one shade lighter and this is the 260N and I know I know there is like lighter colors but I don't like my eyes being like super bright like super bright eye I just like it being like a tad bit you know just so it doesn't look like I am sleeping but if this one is gonna be a little bit too like not too bright I might just give like a different like shade a shot I think I had seen like the 210 or something like that it was like really it was like a bright so I might try that one out next but here we go whoa that picked up a lot of product the applicator looks kind of similar to the foundation but there's like it looks like a little I don't know what kind of shape but it looks good And I'll just put the concealer where I usually put my concealer at. And I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. Um, concealer. I think it's a camel concealer sponge. It works really good and this is definitely like my go-to when it comes up to concealers. This blends really, really good. Now I see why people were always like hyping up the Rare Beauty products. I have like said I've never tried them until now and I do not regret it one bit. As I said it's not I don't like my eyes like super super bright but at least like para que me levanten like to wake me up a little bit I feel like it is really good and honestly I feel like this is doing its job. Did I look for me that to you guys? Not yet right? I'm gonna go in with the light medium setting powder the rare beauty one as well I think there is like four different shades for this one or three if I'm not mistaken but I ended up going with this one and with this one I'm just gonna go in with my morphe brush and just pat it bottom of my eye and then also get a little bit of it smile lines because I get really really bad smile lines then just with the rest just kind of put it all over my face the setting powder is not bad at all um, I feel like my test would be if I get like my smile lines still come through really really bad then I probably I'm not going to say it's the best setting powder, but so far, the foundation, the concealer is really, really good, and don't knock it till you rock it. I'm going to try their bronzer stick. I got this one in the color Bright Side. It is not the darkest one out there, but I also use like my actual like the powder bronzer, so we're going to go ahead and give this one a shot too. So just a poquito en los cachetes, like... Abajo, and then in la frente maybe I have to get like a different color like a different shade when it comes up to this one because it does not you literally cannot really see it and literally just kind of work it in to my skin now for the OG butter bronzer that I always use as you guys can tell it's literally hitting like the pan already same thing that I always do, just bronze it up. Now for the thing that I've been like dying to try, which is their blush, because I have seen so many people upload different things on these. I know some people say that they don't like it, some people say that they really like it, some people say that it's a little bit too much, a little goes a long way, and I feel like in all the videos that I've seen, a little does go a long way, so I'm kind of curious to see how this is gonna work out. I did end up getting the primer for the eyelid, but we are not doing eyeshadow on this look, so that one's gonna have to go back into the drawers until another time. 
back to this one. This is the one that I ended up going with. I ended up having to go through the ones that were still in stock. Some of them were not in stock at all, like the most like popular ones. And this one I actually had to get on like the wait list. The ones I have to put your notifications on like so you can get notified when it's going to be back in stock. And girl, once I seen that notification come back, I literally just started going through my stuff and I put everything in my cart and I put my coupon code and I called it a day. I know I smelled it. It literally just smells like makeup. But clearly it's a liquid blush and it is totally different. But let's go with two dots. I'm kind of scared. And one on the nose. A little one on the nose. I do have like different blush like um, brochas. But I'm going to end up using the Real Techniques one. I think it's Real Techniques. My cousins gave me this a couple of years back in Christmas. And this thing is still coming in clutch. I think I have to literally like work this into my skin. Mm. <laughs> It'll be okay. We're just gonna have to blend it into the skin. And I think if this doesn't blend out, probably use the beauty blender to fix it a little bit. Okay, that is a lot of blush. So. Let's go in with a sponge, just kind of go over it so it's not like too overwhelming. Don't get me wrong, I am definitely like a whole blush girl, but sometimes if I feel like it's very overwhelming, just grab your beauty sponge or your brush, whatever you use for your foundation, and just go over it and just blend it a little bit more. And I feel like you can just work it in. I totally forgot to blend that out, but we can go with the back of our beauty sponge and blend the one on the nose. So next, it's going to be the lips. And I got these two right here. This is a nearly neutral balm. Um, so it's kind of like a neutral color. It's kind of more on like the pinkish, like rose color. And it's really pretty. And then I did get the lip liner. This one is the Kind Words Matte Lip Liner. It is like a rolling one. Like para sacarle la punta. I don't think it's like an actual like, like to take it off. So let's go in with this one. And then we're going to go ahead and put the lip balm after. This one I am going to look down on my phone camera to actually do it. Because I feel like it will be weird if I'm like. So let me go ahead and line my lips. And then we will do the little lip balm together. And now we're going to go ahead and go with the lip balm and try this one out because I'm really excited. If you guys know me, I rarely wear like any type of lip products if it's not like chapstick or like a regular like lip balm. And I'm pretty excited for this one because I feel like literally her whole makeup so far has not let me down. Like I am very impressed with it. So I really hope that this just is like the cherry on top of my cake. Ooh, the brush is like different. It's not like the other ones. And it goes on very, very buttery. At this point, take a shot for every single time that I said buttery and soft because I feel like that's what I said throughout like this whole entire video. It is definitely like a neutral lip color as a claim to be and for someone who doesn't really wear like any lip stuff I am really liking this so now that we are fully done just kidding I almost forgot one last thing setting spray I ended up getting the mini version of this one just to try it out because I have plenty of setting sprays but I was just like you know what like let me try the mini version if I do end up liking it then I will definitely just buy the bigger version after this so this is going to be the final look for the Rare Beauty Sephora haul that I ended up going for. And so far, I really like the whole makeup line so far of the stuff that I have gotten myself. As I said, I did purchase the things that I will be reusing or I thought I would be reusing, which 
honestly, now it is a 12 out of 10. So I am definitely going to be reusing all the products that I ended up buying and honestly I feel like I found like my new go-to makeup brand. I really like the fact that it's someone that I guess growing up is someone who we looked up to or someone that we used to watch or listen to their music and stuff like that so I feel like that's like very cool. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Everything that I tried from today, it is something that I genuinely like and I will genuinely recommend for someone to try out. The foundation, 10 out of 10. Concealer 10 out of 10. The powder so far it is a 10 out of 10 because my lines are not as deep as they would be if I were to be continuously talking with the other ones that I have used in the past. Their bronzer stick I probably need to go like a couple of shades darker because it is not the darkest so I don't think it made that like a huge of a difference but luckily I do have my butter bronzer coming in clutch for that me all the time. Their blush is definitely something that everyone needs to get their hands on. You have told me a little goes a long way and that is definitely true. That is definitely facts. Pore diffusing primer is really, really good. The texture of it, it is really good. The way that it just glides onto your skin and it just like disappears, it is very, very good. So I would highly recommend that as well. But honestly, the whole brand, even like the whole lip stuff, her lip stuff, bomb. I rarely use lip products, rarely, rarely, rarely. You'll catch me with a lip gloss or as I said, like just like regular lip balm. But I think this is something that I can see myself wearing on like a daily type of stuff. And that for me is definitely a win. I do not have a lot of confidence when it comes up to my lips. Uh, my lips are a little bit smaller compared to other people. And I feel like that's what kind of gets me like, oh, like I probably shouldn't wear like any type of lipstick or any type of lip liners or anything putting on my lips regardless that it's going to catch like people's attention to look at my lips. But this is definitely something that I'm going to be reusing and I can probably say I'm going to be using this daily. So. These are definitely a go. These two together were really, really good. And as I said, I think I'm gonna end up probably stocking up on these <laughs> because I can tell you that I'm probably gonna end up using this a lot. And even though it's like, it says it's a balm, it's more like a lips, like a lip gloss, but like with, clearly it has color on it, but it seems like it's like long wearing. Like obviously, ahorita me toque like my lip and a little bit came off, but Girl, it's still on here. But that is gonna conclude my video for today. As I said, Rare Beauty, get your hands on it. 12 out of 10. I will give it a 12 out of 10. 10 out of 10 is out the window, 12 out of 10 is in the window. So get your Rare Beauty on, it is bomb, bomb.com, and summer is right around the corner, and this will definitely look very luminous on everyone's skin. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next week with another video. Bye.